Hello and welcome to using the page composer tutorial where you will learn how easy it is to create composed pages. Page composer provides a simple intuitive interface that empowers business analysts and users to create their own composed pages. Composed pages enable users to access enterprise one applications, one view reports, watch lists, web pages, ATF applications and OBIEE objects. Let's get started and create a new composed page. To do so, we will need to access the page composer. From the login drop-down menu, click manage content, then compose pages. This takes you to the page composer. If you were on a composed page, page composer will default to that page and display its information in case you wanted to make changes to it. If you were on a classic enterprise one page, then it will default to the launch screen. We will change the name field from the default composed page to create, so we can create a new page. We will provide a name when we save the composed page. Enter the product code that you want to associate with the composed page. For our example, we will use 55, which is the code that Oracle recommends you use for customized composed pages. When you click the Create New Content icon, a list of all the content types pops up. We are going to skip the Designer Pane content type because its functionality is so expansive, we have covered it in another tutorial called Using the Designer Pane in Page Composer. We'll start with the One View Report content type. The first content type you add to a new page requires you to click it. After the first time, you will drag and drop it to the page. Here, we will enter the application ID where we know an OVR report is P03B2022. Once we enter the ID and tab out of the field, the rest of the information populates in the fields. You can change this information as needed. For example, you might want to use a different version or report. Click OK and we can see the results of the report. To save this content type to the composed page, click save and then enter a name for your page. We will enter customer service as our name. Once again, click OK. Let's add another content type. Click the create new content icon again. You can have only one OVR and one ADF application on a composed page. So since we have already added an OVR, that option doesn't appear. Now let's add an Enterprise One application. We will drag and drop it to the Compose page. You can see that the area colors as an indication of where you will drop the content type. We'll enter an application ID, say P01012, and the rest of the information populates in. You can select a form and a version for the application. You can change the name and the description. The description shows up as the title of the content frame on the composed page. Then click OK. Now let's add a link to a web address. Click the create new content icon and select URL from the drop down list. Drag and drop it to where you want and it displays with other content types on the composed page. Enter the URL you want to add to the composed page. Enter a name which is required and a description if you like. Click OK and the system automatically validates the web page that you have entered. Click Save to save the composed page. These pages are saved in real time, so when you exit the page composer, your composed page is active and available for use. You can move these content types around and resize them. For that, place your cursor between two content frames either horizontally or vertically until a thin blue line appears. Now move the content to be positioned right or left or up or down. You can also grab the title bar of the content frame until a blue box appears and reposition it in another area. We can do the same for each of these content types. 
Click Save to save all the contents to the composed page. Now, close the Page Composer to view the composed page. Let's create a new page with the remaining content types. Once again, from the Login drop-down menu, click Manage Content, then Composed Pages. Click the Create New Content icon. Let's add a classic page. Classic pages used to be called Enterprise One pages. If you have any that you have imported into Enterprise One, you can add them to your composed page. Click Classic Page. Select the page from the drop down menu and the rest of the information populates in. Then click OK. Now let's add another content type. For that, once again click the Create New Content icon. Select OBIEE from the drop down list and drag and drop it to the composed page. The Select OBIEE object window pops up. Navigate through the folders until you find the object that you want to use for the content. After you have found the object that you want to use, click Select on the title bar of the Select OBIEE object window to add the selected object to the composed page. Then click OK. We will now add an ADF application. Once again, click the Create New Content icon and select ADF application from the drop down list and drag and drop the same onto the composed page. Select the ADF application task you want to launch. The system automatically populates the other fields. To add the ADF application to your page, click OK. In our example, we are going to click Cancel because we are not adding an ADF application to the composed page. Click Save to save the content types to the composed page. The Enter New Name dialog is displayed. Here, we'll enter a name for the composed page and click OK. Once you have created your page, it appears under the personal heading. At this point, it is available only to you. You can modify the composed page and save it or save it under a new name using the Save As option or delete it. You must request to publish your composed page if it is going to be used by others. Select the Request to Publish icon and the composed page now appears under the Pending Approval heading. The composed page must be approved by an administrator. For more information on user-defined objects approval process, see Approving User-defined Objects tutorial. Now, close the Page Composer to view the composed page. As you can see, this composed page has the two content types that we just added. Let's take a look at another composed page at runtime. Your Enterprise One Administrator grants permissions to view the composed pages. Notice that the composed pages as well as the classic pages are displayed together as tabs in the Enterprise One interface. A dot displayed along with the page name indicates a personal page, otherwise it is a shared page. You can rearrange the tabs on the Enterprise One interface. A composed page can contain one or more of the content types and each of this content appears in the content frame. The content frame title bar displays the title of the content. You can view each content frame in maximized mode by clicking the pop-up icon as shown. The content now appears in maximized mode. Click the same icon again to return to the composed page. Applications launched from these composed pages do not contain a close button. Instead, you can navigate away from the application by clicking other content within the page. You can also resize the content frame to show more or less content as we did in the page composer. When you resize a content frame, the page automatically resizes adjoining content to fit on the composed page. 
This completes using the Page Composer tutorial.